Yo, what's up guys? Marcos here on that Limited Tundra's YouTube channel. Bringing you guys another update, another video um, on what's going on with the truck. Let me get camera. So, 20 by 12s and 33s have been sold. Been rocking. Uh, I borrowed my dad's stocks from his 4Runner. To do those ugly original stocks back on his. And uh, ordered some new shoes. We got here today. So, many of you guys already know. If you guys are familiar with SES, you know the 17 by 9 is the deep negative 38 millimeter offset wheels. Um, we've got four Toyo MTs, 33, 12 and a half um, R17s. So got these loaded up, about to head to the shop. Hopefully get these things installed right now. And um, they told me that they had time, so it should all work out. And uh, I'll give you guys a after shot once they get installed but for anybody wondering 33s and the SES wheels fit perfectly in the bed of a in the bed of a double cab so without furthermore let's get on the road yeah so what's up guys Marcos here I'm that limit tundra's YouTube channel tuning back in um this is gonna be like the third part of this video like the third clip it should be um it's actually been a minute since I got these installed and since the other two uh, videos were recorded so basically I just waited because I wanted to really give you guys like my thorough honest opinion on this setup and um, I decided to run it for like a month both pavement and off pavement and really give you guys my feel and my opinion versus my old setup and um, I had came I had come and recorded this last night but didn't really like the lighting so came back today and did um, doing it again so without further ado Let's step outside the truck. I'm gonna show you guys something that I considered very, very mainstream and all too common in the first gen Tundra community. And I told myself that I would never do this, but here we are. So I'm actually gonna do this and I'm gonna try to get you guys some, um, some measurements to use for future reference for another video. Um, there's gonna be some changes that you guys have noticed to the truck that I'm not gonna talk about today. It's mainly like suspension changes um, because that's, like I said, gonna be coming in another video for a future reference for anybody that's looking to do something similar to their truck um, suspension wise. But this is mainly like a wheel and tire, you know, walk around and some smaller changes that I've done to the truck to work around those. So without further ado, let's get outside and I'm gonna show you guys these new wheel and tires. So I'm gonna leave the truck on because it's kind of chilly and uh, I've got them fucking twinkle toes. So I'm gonna try to get back into a warm cab. But um, last video you guys saw of the exhaust, I still had my 20 by 12 sprockets and uh, the 33 1250 R20 uh, Nitto Ridge Rapplers. Well, we have since changed it up. And those are the new new. Um, you'll also see I switched back to the factory amber um, corners. I just I had the clears on for a while and just really wasn't a fan of how they looked with the bronze wheels. Didn't really think it flowed. So they are SES Ray Tens, Stealth Custom Series Ray Tens in the matte dark bronze with a black lip. Uh, they're in a 17 by nine negative 38 millimeter offset I had to stay with some offset and keep stands um, there's really not a lot of like pictures available on these Tundras it's mainly all like 5th gens and 3rd gen tacos 5th um, gen 4 runners 4th gen tacos I mean 3rd gen tacos that have these so you can't really know like how much stands to expect but just so you can see this is like the minimum amount of wheel poke that I could have still looks pretty good still looks really nice and aggressive all the trails though Jesus Christ this stuff slings shit all down the side of the truck um, and for those wondering with the 3 inch lift up front um, it's sagging now so that's going to be part of the new video uh, the next video that's coming um, but it, it's a 3 inch puck spacer up front for right now SPC upper control arms you can clear 17 by nine, negative 38 millimeter offset with a 33, 1250 R17 tire, absolutely no problem. As long as you're willing to do some trimming in the back, trim that pinch weld completely flat, 
Uh, I had already trimmed a little bit of my fender flare off for the 20 by 12. So I just kind of went ahead and cleaned it all up this time around. Um, you can go full crank reverse, full crank forward, no problem. Didn't have to touch anything up front. So with my previous setup, the truck tracked perfectly straight down the road. With these Toyo MTs, it's drifting to the right. Even with the alignment being still good because I, I just got a fresh steering rack with poly bushings up front and um, even with that alignment it was still drifting to the right so I'm gonna get those SPCs redialed in to give me more caster and especially a little bit more caster on the right hand side so that that way this thing will go back to tracking perfectly straight but I need to redo finish redoing my front end and so we'll get all into that uh, hopefully next video as to what all I have done but wanted to get you guys that. And for those wondering, the, the amount of flake that these wheels have in the sunlight, especially when they're wet, Lord, these things look so freaking good. That color to me is really, really clean up against the black. Very much so I do like it. And uh, I know that this is gonna kind of upset some of those that, you know, found the truck. Um, with the 20 by 12s and that's why you know they started watching and stuff but stick around guys do i regret my 20 by 12s no do i see myself running another set yes in the very near future actually i do like these wheels but they definitely don't you know catch my attention as much as like the 20s did i think that these things do look good but like i said i see myself running another set of 20 by 12s here in the near future so we'll eventually be back in the stance game for now, using these to uh, explore North Georgia, wheeling the truck a little bit. I don't know if I'll be recording videos on that. I'll have to wait and see. But, yep, that's for those wondering. Finally got into the bigger sidewall game. And anyone, anybody that's looking for tires, personally, me, I do not recommend the Nitto Ridge Rapplers. They're Call them all crawler tires in my opinion they look good and they have good uh, wet road traction that's pretty much it off-road any kind of slick conditions they suck ass um, make a lot they make a lot of noise for a hybrid tire um, you get that cheese grater feeling when you're coming to a stop and like I said they just don't pull their weight when conditions are slick these Toyota MTs ride pretty freaking good for a mud terrain this is my first set of mud terrains and um, I, these don't even have that cheese grater feeling. They're obviously new. Maybe once they're broken in, have a thousand, couple thousand miles on them, they will. But they're pretty quiet. Um, they ride really smooth at highway speeds. They're quieter than the Ridge Grapplers were at highway speeds. And um, they can actually pull their freaking weight in slick conditions. They do pretty good in, in all wet asphalt too. Um, I've just really, really been easy on the throttle with them taking off especially like on hills and stuff but other than that been good so far um i definitely liked my bfg uh all terrains way better than the nitter ridge grapplers and uh if i had to buy another set of tires right now i would probably go back to the bfgs no real regrets with the mts it's just that i know that i'm not going to get any kind of mileage out of them and i drive all too much. i drive roughly about twenty thousand miles a year so I think I'll be lucky if I get two years out of these. But there it is, folks. Anybody that's considering the SCS or some fuels, um, I think VTX is another is another brand that sells like 17 by 9 with a negative 38 millimeter offset for their first gen Tundra. There's that. And obviously, if you don't have the stock fender flares, you're probably going to get a little bit more poke than me. So I've seen some guys run it with like a one inch spacer, a uh, wheel spacer. And they're getting just about as much poke as like a 20 by 12 but me personally I just avoid wheel spacers um, you know that's what the offset is for but yeah guys drop me a thumbs up uh, leave me a comment subscribe let me know what your opinion is again like I said if you missed the 20 by 12 no worries we're gonna be back in that game sooner than later and uh, that's it folks stick around and um, coming up next a whole front suspension front end uh, run through as to what I've done 
and for the rear the rear got a little bit of a refresh too you guys probably saw some of that in this video i'll be bringing you guys uh along to walk you guys through that and i'll give you guys part numbers and all that uh links for all the suspension parts once it's all on the truck and i can test it out and you know i can thoroughly back it up Alrighty guys so with that i'm out